Aries ascendant. For Aries ascendant, Saturn will become retrograde in the sign of Capricorn in the 10th house. 10th house is the house of karma. It is the house of career. It is the house where you can show your strength. It is about your dignity and it is about your respect. Retrograde Saturn means you need to correct yourself so that your dignity can gain its respectable state, respectable position. You can, you can reach to a place where you are respected, you are loved and you are known for your skills. If you are an Aries Ascendant, Saturn transit in the sign of Capricorn for one last time also means that this is the time to change your expectation and start working hard because if something is blocking in your life, probably there is a there is an unfinished task that lies ahead which without addressing you won't get the results, in fact the desired results. Saturn is also going to aspect Jupiter in the 12th house and Jupiter is extremely important for you because it rules your 9th house. And this Jupiter will take control of the 4th house by 5th aspect and 4th house is house of Cancer which is also aspected by retrograde Saturn from the 10th house. So definitely this time can make you slightly uncomfortable but this is the time where you give up unnecessary things, bring necessary reforms in life especially in the matters of work and life balance. It's also a very good time for people who are trying to quit their company and who wants to change a different company, who want to switch their career, switch their jobs or who want to move to a foreign land for either education or who wants to go for a career. Overall, it is going to be a churning time, yet a positive time for Aries Ascendant because the joint energy of Saturn and Jupiter is going to is going to reveal your true nature and dig deep inside you and find what is in your heart. This also means some buried emotion will also come out and this is the time to show compassion, show love and take the matters in your own hand and do the karma. Procrastination will be your biggest enemy this time. Laziness will come but you will have to give up your comfort in order to achieve your goals. You have to plant a seed in your mind, a seed that is unique, that is creative and that follows the path of Vasudhava Kutumbakam. Rahu being in your first house along with Saturn and Jupiter will have a strong impact. Yes, there will be resistance, there will be people working against you but that's a part of life, isn't it? Take the challenge. And you will see not only in your career, but also in your business, there will be great success. Some tensions with mother-in-law for married people may arise. So be careful on that front. Help your labors if you have, if you're running a business, take care of their need and try to secure their life. And if you're just a student, do not spend time watching movies, games, but be more and more productive. Try to gather knowledge as much as you can. And remember, Saturn in retrograde in the 10th house means revision. The more you revise, the more you become refined. And the more you practice, the more better you become at your game. So if that is the principle that Saturn wants to operate with, you should apply that in your life and you will see the path of success. And if you still face any problem, just chant Om Sham Shanashraya Namah and you will see the light of the day. Taurus Ascendant A retrograde Saturn in the ninth house is going to aspect 3rd and 6th house. Now if you observe, 3, 6, 10 and 11 are the bhavas, the houses responsible for your daily earning, for the day-to-day -day activity, for your career, for your revenue generation. It is basically the house that keeps you moving in the material plane. Now when this retrograde Saturn, which is also the ruler of 10th house, starts aspecting 3rd and 6th house, from 9th means a lot of corrective measures are supposed to be taken if you really want a financial stability and a future financial growth. It's a very good time for people who are trying to bring 
major structural changes, hierarchical changes, reforms in their company. It is also a very good time for people who are taking initiatives, maybe through education, maybe through certification, or maybe they are planning to give interviews so that their career can upgrade. But wait, if you hurry, if you take hasty decisions, if your decisions are based on assumption and speculations, it can backfire. So be careful while you are investing in stock market. If you want to clear your debt and if you take initiatives for that, then Saturn will definitely help you. A retrograde Saturn in the ninth house will also plan a trip, possibly a religious trip, or maybe a trip to a relative from which the connection was not there for a very long time. Something from the past or someone from the past will definitely meet, meet you. It can be a long lost relation. It can be also a marriage proposal that went, that went into oblivion and now coming back in the limelight. You can think about that provided your horoscope matches and allows. A 9th house retrograde Saturn also means redefining the principles and value systems of life. It is the Karma Lord, the ruler of Karma House, in the Dharma House. But for Taurus, you must understand that for you, Dharma and Karma is only Karma. So you are a karmic zodiac sign. So doing good activity, doing a lot of charity work, Seva Kare, because 10th aspect falls in 6th house, is going to be exceptionally brilliant for you, for giving you much needed relief. On the other hand, if you become greedy, if you become arrogant, then the third aspect of Saturn on Jupiter is going to cost you heavily. Remember, Jupiter is your 8th Lord. So this Saturn has the key to either propagate you to the path of success or block you and block your every single move. And if your every move gets blocked and you are getting too many hurdles, understand that it's time to revisit and go back to the drawing board and find out where you are wrong. Try to accept your mistake and you have to be much more flexible. Be helpful to your neighbors and society and be very close to nature. That will help you steer in the right direction in the retrograde Saturn in ninth house. This is also the time when your life and your experience becomes your guru. So learn from your life and the experience of the near and dear ones also. It is the time to be a student, but at this time, a student of life. This is going to be a positive time for all individuals, irrespective of age or what career they have or what they are doing in life. But there is one common theme, redefine your destiny. Gemini Ascendant. Now, I see a lot of comments coming from Gemini moon sign natives where, they, where you say that Saturn has come back to your 8th house, therefore your Ashtam Dhaya is once again active. See, you must also understand the trend of planet. For Gemini, when Saturn retrograde happens in the 8th house, you have to see where did Saturn went and how is it coming back and for how long this is going to continue. Because Saturn went into your ninth house and came back to the 8th house. This is where the destiny will change. This is not the time to be scared of anything. This Ashtam Dhaya is will last for what? For 6 months? But this time, this has the flavor of ninth house and not just the 8th house. It's the churning of the ocean. You will be challenged at your values and at your principles and at your belief system. And Saturn wants to see how much do you stand for what is right, not because you think it is right, but because it is right. So the Gemini people will see a tremendous amount of transformation and a positive one when Saturn will become retrograde because do not forget that Jupiter is also in your 10th house. 10th Lord being in the 10th house aspecting 2nd and 6th provides you all the ingredient to become successful in life. But maybe you're not doing something different. And this retrograde Saturn is the difference that will be created. This is the one magic ingredient that was needed to change and transform your life for good. And you will do it by yourself because this Saturn retrograde 
is going to aspect your fifth house, therefore challenge your productivity. It will aspect your second house, will create financial, financial issues and financial woes and you will be worried because of that and you will be worried about your investment and because you are worried, you will address it. If you are okay with the scenarios of life, probably you won't even think about it. But this Saturn is like the much needed pain that will bring your attention to that area and you will find resolution because this Saturn is here to revive your life, not block it. So think objectively, whatever you are doing, plan in a span of six months. And because anything that you will plan for during the retrograde may have to be corrected once again when Saturn becomes direct. This is the time to go inwards, do research and figure out the loopholes. If you are a housewife, this is the time to connect with yourself, your identity. How can you transform your home and how can you connect with your family members? If you are a working person, working individual, this is the time how you connect with your team. This is the time how you, you have to look how you connect with the masses and how your knowledge is more productive and useful for others. Maybe you will get the workload that you never expected. Maybe you will be bombarded with firefighting situations, but that is how your skill will be tested. So this is the time when Saturn is going to filter the skilled from the unskilled and we all must move from the unskilled to the skilled sector of life. And by skill, I don't mean just bookish knowledge. A good singer is also a skilled person. Skill is relative. So you need to be excellent at whatever you do. And whoever does that will see a tremendous amount of transformation. Also, you will see that you will vent out your emotions and that can hurt people. So be careful how you speak, especially through your body language. If you are careful about your food, then you won't face any indigestion problems, especially if you are a Gemini Ascendant or Moon sign with a weak Mercury or a weak Saturn in chart. People who are looking to invest in sports stock market will be able to recover their losses, but slowly. Magical gains might not happen, but one of spike can be observed. If you want to invest in real estate or gold or if you want to open a petrol pump, say, or a manufacturing unit, be careful. This retrograde Saturn wants you to revisit, rethink, replan, and if everything is fine, please go ahead if your chart allows. This is a transit analysis. This is a generic analysis. You must refer back to your chart to find exact result. And if you are in a Saturn Mahadasha and Moon Antardasha in this time, then slightly be careful. Because Jupiter will balance out most of the negativity that Saturn might have created. But this Saturn is a ready for Samudra Manthan. If you become too arrogant, too rigid for change, and if you reject the change, then Saturn might create troubles for you. Be flexible, be like water, and you will see that you will become pure like water. Cancer Ascendant Saturn retrograde will affect you from the circumstance because it is retrograde in your seventh house. Now this is one final retrogression. So this is like one final battle, one final challenge, one final odd scenario. So don't be, don't get frustrated by all of this because your ninth lord is in ninth house. This is a question that will, that will create a difference in your life. Marital issues will need lot of attention because if you are married and if you are facing any problem there this can create major challenges in your life so be very very careful people who are looking for marriage people who are trying for a very long time and if you have a marriage yoke this can actually become fruitful but wait whenever something happens in retrograde saturn you might have to revisit your decision once the saturn becomes direct that means you have to go slow because a retrograde Saturn might accelerate the pace a bit abnormally. And in that case, you must also take situation in your control. This will also mean that you will figure out your ties with your business partners. 
with people that you interact with, your team members. And this means your image, your reputation might change. It can be good, it can be bad, depending on your chart, but it will change for good. For people who want to interact, uh, or, or people who work in manpower sector, labor sector, you will have to be very, very compassionate about the need of people who work for you. For students, this is the time to test your ability. Throw, throw difficult questions at yourself, solve papers and put yourself into difficult situations like you might go in that situation in an examination. That will help you sharpen your skills. Chanting Ma Saraswati Mantra can be extremely helpful. And this is also the time when don't booze out, don't party, don't dump your body and don't treat yourself like, like you're a garbage can. This is a temple and we, Atman, reside in this temple. And that is represented by the Lagna. And your Lagna and your Mana, mind, is all aligned because you are a Cancer Ascendant. And when this Saturn aspects that, time to reform yourself. Hit the gym, go to yoga, transform and see what best can you make out of your own skill. This is the time to upgrade. Take criticism positively. If somebody is saying something, do not react. Take it, absorb it and see if you can use it. It's like somebody throws stones at you, build a bridge out of it. Something like that. You know, that, that, that creativity must come. There is a difficult situation. It is a difficult scenario. It is not a comforting time. Saturn has 10th aspect on the 4th house. You might also see real estate changes. You might also see your money getting blocked. You might also see your house eating up. Lot of, ex lot of money because you have to put in a lot of money there to relatives. There will be people who will be taking money from you. Everything is fine. But if you keep your eyes open, if you keep your mind open, you will see the path of light and you will be easily transforming you into a better version of yourself. Leo Ascendant for you. Saturn retrograde will happen in the 6th house. This is the Saturn which was in your 7th house and which will be in your 7th house from January 2023. But right now till 23rd of October, the Saturn retrograde in the 6th house means recognition of your duties, your responsibilities. It is the house of Prarabdha Karma. If you really wanted to take a loan for a business or for an important work, say housing loan, it was stuck. This is the time when it will fructify and move in a positive direction. This is also the time when you can get rid of the debts. The load of the debt will reduce because of your hard work. But if you're too careless about your debts and you're not repaying that, this time may become extremely difficult because these, this negative energy will start haunting you. So be careful on that part. A retrograde Saturn in the 6th house also means that you need to be extremely attentive towards your health because Saturn's third aspect will fall on the 8th house and Saturn's seventh aspect will fall on the 12th house. Initiatives must be taken for healing, for positive vibrations, for upgrading yourself and give yourself as many comfort but also don't get too much indulged into alcohol, into binge food, uh, into, into fast food but try to be Try to take plant-based diet, avoid non-vegetarian food and try to eat healthy because Saturn retrograde in the 6th house will affect the mineral absorption in the body. People suffering from kidney related issue, kidney stones or anything that is associated with gallbladder or small intestine should be, should, should be careful about their health and do something to be fit and healthy, long walks. And uh, just regular exercise will do wonders in this time. Now, for, the, for people who are trying for a childbirth, see, Saturn retrograde in the 6th house is the house of service. So show your service to an orphanage, help a poor child, and that will help you get rid of the negative prarabdha karma. A retrograde Saturn in the 6th house can also bring back an old wound because it is churning the 6th house. It is doing a Samudra Manthan in that house. And 
which means you will have to recognize something that you were avoiding till now or maybe uh, maybe you are a parent and you you have not recognized your child or maybe you are a child who has not recognized your parent now you will have to so this is the time when you might see things coming right at you but this is not the time to fight it this is the time to understand the backbone of the event the root cause of an event and then work on the root cause symptomatic treatment will not be fruitful in this transit it is a transit where long lost relation can also come close lost friends can come close they can meet once again this is the transit where repair will happen so don't take it negatively any challenge that comes to you is a is a path to repair your life and let the planet give you the best what it can offer the results of any action will be seen from november onwards stay safe and focus virgo ascendant for virgo saturn will make its move in the 5th house now saturn is 6th lord it was in the 6th house it once again makes its move in the 5th house 5th house is the house of knowledge 5th house is the house of house of learning it is the it is the house where all the punya gets accumulated it is the house of your productive happiness and when saturn retrograde goes there it challenges you it wants you to transform your knowledge it's a very good time for students and people who are associated with academics people who want to learn art of mining architecture sculpture people who want to transform their career through new certifications maybe an mba a degree all these things will see rise during the saturn retrograde but this might also expose people who don't have knowledge that might this might also creep put put you into a situation where you are being challenged and do you have to apply your wit you will have to apply your common sense and sharp focus to get out of the problem if you hesitate if you become anxious this will only create further trouble this might also create issues during childbirth you might also be worried about productivity of your life you might also be worried about children your children their education but <clears throat> because it is a retrograde that means you have to revisit your thought you will have to change your approach and that will increase the productivity in the long run this is not the time to think with short sighted approach you have to think for the long shot for the longer game plan for 2023 in this period this is also the time to revive something to connect with your old school knowledge old old friends and maybe go back to the previous organization people who work in the core industry will see great benefit during this time but wait this is a saturn who wants you to also work on your marriage how you express you will have to change the way your body language expresses your attitude expresses your emotions how your face expresses it you might have to change your hairstyle your looks because this saturn will also impact jupiter in the 7th house which in turn is changing your personality so you are going for a big round of change in personality looks dressing style and you should also take the initiative of doing all these things but for within your comfort zone what you like and maybe transforming for good overall for virgo ascendant and especially virgo moon sign this is an exceptionally good time yes there is transformation retrograde saturn happens every year for and whenever that happens it will have its own impact because retrograde saturn means revisiting the karma but for whenever whenever it happens for virgo and in the sign of capricorn this is the time to learn from your past experience and then continue carefully libra ascendant for you saturn makes its move back to the fourth house once again you are experiencing a panch mahapurush raj yog formed by shani dev 
Now, the fourth house represents your comfort zone, your nation, your home, your motherly attitude, your mother, your mother-in-law, career of wife. There are so many facets of the fourth house, but primarily it represents your own Sukh happiness. And when Saturn retrograde goes there, this changes the parameters that makes you happy. Don't be surprised if you are being happy or if you are gaining happiness from something which is quite unexpected. You never expected to be happy because of that. That might happen in this time. This is also the time where your knowledge will give you happiness, but you will have to change and unlearn and relearn. So for you, it's a process of unlearning and relearning. A lot of parameters will adjust and maybe you will also have to adjust accordingly. So initially, you will feel uncomfortable, but slowly you will get acclimatized with the environment. You will adjust and whoever will learn these three words, improvise, adapt and overcome, will become successful. The Saturn retrograde is also going to aspect the 10th house. So people in real estate industry might see a, sl a slowdown, a, a challenge, a transformation. So be careful if you are in construction line or if you want to invest money in real estate. For manufacturing industries, this is also a time of redevelopment, revisiting your plans and then figuring out how you can optimize your output. Going with the usual trend will show negative results. A Saturn aspect on the 10th house also reminds that your career is going to take a hit. So this is the time when you get out of your comfort zone and find a good career for yourself. Or if you are happy where you are, then you should focus on developing an attitude of delivering the best. Give your best and then forget the result. Let the result be on God. This retrograde Saturn wants you to be more comfortable with your own body. Yoga is going to be a great remedy. So please hire an expert and with the advice of the ex yoga expert, you can do yoga, whatever state of physical health you are in, because that yoga has to be designed for you. Overall, this is a good time, but this is the time where you might feel unhappy with usual things and happy from things that you never expected. Embrace the unexpected happiness. Scorpio Ascendant In your case, Ketu is in 12th house and Saturn is in 3rd. This retrograde Saturn will aspect this Ketu in Libra. The third lord aspecting the 12th house. Now, this retrograde Saturn is talking about your communication, your siblings, your neighbors, travels, all these things will be affected. So if you have any plan to start a fight with your sibling, be careful because your sibling might need you. You will have to fulfill your duties towards your relatives and maybe this will involve some expenses. Plan accordingly. When you're traveling, be careful about minor hidden expenses. So always have a budget that goes beyond what you have planned. Third house Saturn, which is retrograde also means that you are rolling back few decisions that you have taken in life or maybe you are revisiting them aggressively. And that is the right decision also because currently Mars and Rahu are together in the sign of Aries, that too in your 8th house. Mars and Rahu is in your 6th house. And soon this Mars will go in the sign of Taurus, which will start affecting your ascendant. So what will happen? You will in get influenced by society, you will get influenced by people around you, and that influence can force you to ch change your decision. That you will have to be careful. So whenever you are changing something, be careful why you are changing. Have you done a proper analysis or you're just changing under some sort of influence? Now, third house Saturn can also impact your investments, 
your financial decisions your expression so people who are who have been holding their words for a very long time will see a sudden explosion you will suddenly start revealing your heart out and so be careful about any venting out of emotion because you have to do it in a way that is constructive and at a place where it will seem appropriate saturn's third aspect will fall on the 5th house so you will also show your real face automatically you won't be able to hide behind a mask especially if you are a scorpio moon sign but this is also the time when you behave maturely you will also apologize for your mistake and you will recognize your your mistakes and that is the right sign of progress and that is where the saturn will help you recognizing your dharma coming back to the path of dharma which is the path of righteousness and then doing things that is in sync with the divine cosmos and the nature it's a beautiful transit for you it's a transit where you are the you are the person who will craft your life the mud is wet give it a shape that you want to give it to and you will see that it will come out beautifully just that when you apply the pressure in life it should be appropriate it should not be too much it shouldn't be too less otherwise it won't turn out to be what you expect it to be for students you have to be very careful because how you write an exam what answers you write that is going to get affected by your memory so try to memorize and revise lot of times and for older people you will have to be careful about your shoulder your hands there can be an injury dislocation especially if you have a bad saturn in your chart if you are running a saturn mahadasha mars antardasha or vice versa with a bad planets in your chart be careful you can also get relief from a long pain or suffering because you will take the initiative and maybe that gives you a solution maybe finding the right doctor for that so those who will be on the path of procrastination will only see struggle and those those who will be proactively taking initiatives in life will see success this is the time to take those initiatives sagittarius ascendant this is the time to regain the lost money a retrograde saturn in the second house does show that whatever money is stuck the wealth that is stuck will come back but you must understand why it was stuck in the first place if you know the reason don't repeat it again do it in a slightly different way learn from your mistake learn from your actions second house is also the house of food and values it's the house of family so lot of changes will happen the equations will change in the family you will have to alter your food habits because you might also see that you are allergic to few foods when you are speaking because it is a retrograde saturn don't speak immediately understand what you are going to speak prepare a bit this is an inner reflection of saturn this can also mean that new avenues will open especially financial avenues will open and that will give you more and more success but you will have to be financially conservative yet smart investment options will open up for you so you can plan that you can plan for your retirement or if you are already a retired person you can do something with already accumulated wealth but don't buy real estate in this time because saturn's third aspect in the sign of in the sign of pisces where there is jupiter which is your ascendant lord can give you some trouble so be careful now if you observe that saturn's 10th aspect will fall on the 11th house so this is going to transform your source of income which in turn will also help you gain more and more wealth and maybe this can generate wealth from market but this is morally more or less recovery time so whatever you have lost be it business be it career or be it in a relationship you will recover that make the best use of this recovery time and chant shani mantra every day
Capricorn ascendant. Saturn is back on your ascendant and this is the time to transform yourself. It's a holistic and overall transformation of your life. So listen to the message that you receive from the circumstance, from the surrounding, from your critics. This is the time to focus more on your health, your physical well-being and also almost every single matter of your life. Is it the time to take action? No, this is the time to not take an action, but bring everything into your cognizance. Focus on bright areas, improvise on that, focus on darker areas and see how you can come out of that. Planning should be done, strategy should be built. And Jupiter in the third house is already improving your ability to act in the right way. Combine both of them. Lagna Lord is retro. Third Lord is retro and you can achieve wonders. Remember, the retrograde planet in their own house are extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. Mars will also move in the sign of Taurus, which will be your fifth house. Mars is a Yoga Karaka planet for you. So from August till October, while Mars moves from fifth to sixth house, this is going to be an exceptional time in your life where your productivity will increase, your energy will increase. But try to understand one simple thing. Because of this overwhelming energy, you would try to achieve something that is beyond your reach, beyond your capability. False sense of capacity and ability can come. Be careful, overconfidence can destroy you. Now, when you are trying to commit something, be very sure that you can actually deliver that, be it business, career, or even if you're committing for marriage. Taking every step with precaution, with planning, will result into some beautiful life, a beautiful future. But the moment you run without knowledge, the moment you do things, try to do things like this, that you know we call in Hindi as bai hath ka khe, like it's nothing for me then there will be a lot of issues. You will see a lot of obstacles. Saturn will prove you how you're wrong. Saturn will force you to think inward and sit quietly. There will be a, some sort of isolation also. This is also the time to feel young. So do something about it. Eating right, healing your inner organs, drinking plenty of water, chanting Narayana Mantra. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai are some of the ways by which you can make this transit work for you in a magical way. Aquarius Ascendant Saturn becomes retrograde in your 12th house. Saturn was on your Ascendant and now when it goes back to the 12th house, it wants to remind you about all the losses that you can incur if you don't change the way you are living life and if you don't live life more holistically, more closer to nature. A 12th house Saturn will also end the isolation because it is now retrograde, which means you will meet new friends, you will rediscover yourself, a good guidance will help you rediscover your true nature. This retrograde Saturn can also free you from any clutches of negative energy. So you can say this is the transit of freedom for you. Yes, there will be some expenses, but those who are facing a lot of financial trouble will also see a lot of recovery happening during this time. The Saturn aspects the sixth house, which is your prarabdha karma. So you will have to fulfill your duty and there is no escape. Your freedom is only guaranteed if you agree to fulfill your prarabdha, your duty. You, if, you, if you run away, then there is no escape here. Carefully handle your finances because if you, if you become greedy, if you immediately try to invest a lot of money, then you can lose it in the market or through decisions that you will take. Saturn also aspects ninth house and this is a good time for people who are traveling abroad. Temporary travel, leisure trips will happen. But 
This can also impact people who want to stay in a foreign country but may have to come back due to some family reasons. Be careful while taking any loan during this time and if you if you have already calculated everything but your loan is stuck somewhere, you will see that things will start moving now. Because this is the time of recovery, you will see that from minus you will go to neutral. So this is like from negative to neutral, neutral time for you and you should wait patiently till the end of November and probably till the next year so that Saturn can have its full swing, the one final swing in the Capricorn Zodiac and will get get you back on track, will give you a lot of positive vibration. A good thing is that Rahu in the third house gives you that innovative, smart capability by which you can design solutions which are usually not in the textbook. So out of the textbook solutions will be helpful for you during this time. And definitely a retrograde Jupiter will ensure that you are working smart. But, but one thing, results may come late, so don't worry on that angle. Patience is the key for this transit. Pisces Ascendant. For Pisces, Saturn moves in the 11th house. This is a retrograde Saturn asking you to work on your expectations. Don't focus on results, but focus only on karma. This is a Saturn who, who wants you to earn from export and import. So people who are in goods and services export and import will see a good boost in their career. This can also give you a new and reformed source of income. Good time for people who want to be more productive, experiment in their business or who wants to change their domain, their career, who want to switch to a different company. But this is a time which is where the students have to be careful because not only the Pisces will experience a retrograde Jupiter, but the fifth house will ha have the aspect of retrograde Saturn. So when you are learning, when you are studying, even when you are preparing, be it a, be it a person who is doing research, be it a student, be it a college student or be it somebody who is going to you know, give certifications or even applying your knowledge, say you are a teacher or a philosopher, all of this is going to experience a lot of churning of Jupiter and Saturn where the knowledge will be questioned and challenged and you will have to learn, unlearn, relearn, a lot of things will happen. So do not be arrogant about your knowledge. The more humble you are in this transit, the better your life will be. Also, you will have to be careful about trusting people. Your network circle will see a lot of exchange. Some will come, some will leave. Don't get sad about it. Be very practical and grounded in this transit. This is also the transit that is going to impact people who are basically on retirement, pension, they will see a lot of relief if any matter is stuck in their life. Help people who are elderly. If you have any problem, seek a suggestion from an elderly person or a learned person. That will give you right direction, especially if you are a Pisces moon sign. Overconfidence, overbelief on self will only result in negativity. And remember one thing, eat right and speak right. Otherwise, Saturn is here to bring losses. A retrograde Saturn in 11th house can convert gain into loss in no time. All it has to see is that you are following the path of a dharma. Because Saturn's third aspect falls on your ascendant. Chant Narayan Mantra and chant Guru Mantra, Guru Bij Mantra or simply Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Deva Maheshwara. Guru Sakshat Param Brahma Tasmai Shri Gurve Nama and you will see that everything becomes fine.